Hello and welcome back to the Arts and Crafts Corner. Today we are going to be transforming a paper plate into a springy snake that you can maybe hang from your roof or you can just scare some people in your house with it. So what we're gonna need today is we're gonna need a paper plate or if you don't have a paper plate, you can use uh, a piece of paper. As you can see, I just cut out a little circle with a piece of paper and made a little baby springy snake. So you need a paper plate, some scissors, something something to color your snake with. So I, I'm gonna use crayons today. You can use crayons or markers or paint or anything. And then just a little piece of string so that we can hang our little snake here from its, from its slithery tongue there. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna wanna draw a spiral on the inside of your paper plate. So as you can see here, I drew a spiral. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a very thin spiral, so you can have a really skinny snake, or like mine, a bit of a fatter snake. So once you, draw, once you drew your spiral on there, you can just start coloring it. Now you can color it any way you want. As you can see with this one, we got a nice rainbow colored snake. But I'm gonna try a pattern. You can do it a solid color. It could be all green, it could be a certain pattern, but you just wanna make sure to color the whole thing. So we're gonna do that now. So once we finished coloring in our snake, you can see here, I did a nice stripe pattern with a couple different colors all the way along the spiral. I also drew two black eyes in there and so that his head would have some eyes. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the spiral with our scissors. So if you're comfortable using scissors, you can cut this out yourself, but if not, you can ask an adult to help you out. But we're gonna cut along that spiral that we drew in the first place. So we'll, we'll do that now. So once you finished cutting out your spiral, it should have a bit of a springy shape to it. You can stretch out your snake so it's a little springier. But the last step we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the tongue. So we're gonna attach the, a tongue just in the middle of the, of the head here. If you don't wanna attach a tongue, you can just play with your snake just like this. Just bounce it up and down. But I'm gonna attach a tongue. So I have a red piece of yarn here. You can poke a hole through the middle of the head so you can tie it around. Or I'm just gonna use, I got a clear piece of tape on the end of here. So I'm just gonna attach that on and then our snake is done. So there you are, you can spin it around, you can hang it from something, like I said, or you can just enjoy your snakes. You can make as many snakes as you want. It could be as skinny as you want, as fat as you want, as, as long as you want. It's completely up to you. So this has been the Arts and Crafts Corner, and we'll see you next time.